Today we're going to be taking a look at the Kurt 20x60 cargo carrier. Part number is C18150. Now this cargo carrier from Kurt is a really nice heavy duty carrier. We've got all steel construction. It's going to be a nice durable finish here. It's kind of a almost like a matte finish powder coat. And the thing I really like about it is the floor design that we have here. Now this is a stamped out kind of expanded steel, but I think it's the perfect size. They offer some of these with a larger hole in them. Some of them are a solid panel here, but I really think that Kurt's got it figured out here. Our holes aren't so large to where we have to worry about small things falling down and through, but they're not gonna be so small that dirt, and mud, and snow, and different things like that aren't gonna fall down through and wind up building up on top of our carrier here. One thing I really like about the carrier, you can see they've designed in the shank now a raise to it. It comes up two and a half inches. That's gonna give us additional ground clearance here at the rear. I think that's really important. A lot of times with cargo carriers that have a straight shank that are gonna come out, we're gonna be down much lower and maybe as we're going in and out of a parking lot or if any kind of incline maybe in the driveway, sometimes they'll have a tendency to rub here at the back and that's less than ideal. Now this cargo carrier is designed to work with hitches that are two inches by two inches. It's gonna fit right in there. It's easy to secure. In this case, we've got a Kurt pin and clip in place at part number is C21500. Now it doesn't come with the carrier, so if you don't already have one, pick one up so when you get it, you can use it. As another option, you'll see there's gonna be a little bit of movement and a little bit of play with our cargo carrier. That's very common. It's on every cargo carrier out there unless it has an anti-rattle device that's been installed. One that I recommend, one I really like, is the Roadmaster Quiet Hitch, part number RM-061. It acts as a hitch immobilizer, and it'll limit the side-to-side -side or the up-and-down movement that we have with our carrier. So just something to keep in mind there. Now the cargo carrier offers a 500-pound weight capacity, which is nice. It's going to allow us to put on here just about anything that we'd want to haul behind our vehicle. We've just loaded it up with about 200 pounds worth of bag here. And you can see, remains nice and stable. Also, we've got our raised rail all the way around the outside here. That helps to contain that gear. You can see, holds it in place. We don't have to worry about it slipping off. Now that rail's about five and a half inches high. You'll see the braces that come up to support our raised rail. These are gonna offer us a lot of great connection points. Unlike some cargo carriers out there on the market, we should really be able to get all of our gear secured down nicely. What we'll do is just bring our hook right around that upper rail, right over to that point. That's gonna hold it fixed. Then we'll just bring it over here and connect it to the other side. Now we always recommend using two straps to secure everything, keep everything held in place. If you like the idea or if you have the need for a cargo net, we have one that's designed just right to fit our Kurt cargo carrier. That net's gonna measure 43 inches by 24 inches. The part number on that is C18202. So if you'd like that to have full containment and connect it on each side, get everything covered up really nicely. For the reflectors, we've got one on each side and we've got two here on the back. This is going to help keep our cargo carrier nice and visible so we can help keep everybody safe and prevent them from running into it. Now something that we've discovered also with the cargo carrier, it allows us with just a couple of zip ties here to relocate our license plate. We have to have our license plate visible so when we get the items on our carrier, if it happens to block our license plate, four zip ties and our plate fits perfectly right here on the rear. So we don't have to invest in extra brackets or a license plate relocation kit or anything like that. Also, you can see we've got an area on the outside here. If you're gonna be blocking the tail lights on your vehicle, you can pick up a light kit that'll allow you to have lights here on the rear of your cargo carrier. And then we could run up right up to a four pole, plug it in and we'll have lights on the back to keep us compliant with all state laws. Now the cargo carrier is very easy to put together. We've got four bolts in the rear here, four in the front, and then two that are gonna go through our main shank here to keep everything held together. So with just installing 10 bolts, your cargo carrier is gonna be assembled and ready for the road. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is gonna show us the side-to-side -side action. This simulates turning corners or evasively maneuvering.
Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Once we get to the full speed bumps, we'll see the up and down action. This will be just like driving in and out of a parking lot, parking garage, or driveway. And that's going to complete our look at the Kurt 20x60 cargo carrier, part number C18150.